review book review you thought I wasn't gonna make another one of these didn't you? you thought I was gonna give up on my booktuber thing you got it wrong well I finished reading two books this year already this is not really really a book review this is the other thing that booktubers do which is a TBR BTR TBR anyway it's a list of books I want to read this year 2018 and if you're wondering what the heck is going on over here it's very simple I wanted to film this video in my laundry but there are lots of sheets being washed that I washed they're drying so this is kind of a little blanket for and then I brought Amelie's table because it was the only thing I could fit here and Amelie's chair and then because I started bringing her things I thought we could have some fake tea with a little um baby over here I don't know what Amelie calls I think she just calls it a little baby uh, milk yes You're welcome. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm just trying to be nice to people who miss my vlogs. You know, it's my laundry, it's a mess. I was cleaning earlier, there's stuff everywhere. I need a haircut. If you've been following me for a few months, you know you know exactly what it is. But anyway, I'm kind of a booktuber now, so I need to get into the video. Here's some books that I have for many years that I either haven't read or have started reading and haven't finished. I'm gonna go through them. The first one is George Orwell's Home. <sighs> Homage to Catalonia. I've started reading it last year. I remember very little of it, so I'm gonna read it again this year. I've already read 1984 and Animal Farm. Both excellent books. I'm excited to read this one. I also have this one, Spark Joy, which is about decluttering. I, I, clearly, I haven't read this book yet. I've, I've read a little bit of it. I, uh, it's, I'm going to read it. And then there's this book by Martin Scorsese about himself and it talks about movies and uh, how he went. I actually I read up to chapter 5 and I'm gonna keep reading. The thing is I was reading it I wanted to watch the movies as I'm reading the book so it makes more sense. That's why it was taking a long time at least that's what I say to myself when I realized that I started reading this book three years ago. <laughs> I'll definitely finish it this year, okay. And then there's another book that's really good, really, really good. I read half of it already. It's called Directing Actors, and it's one of the best books on directing actors that exist, or so I, I heard. I really need to finish reading it, because it's, it's really good. I just need to sit down and, and read, which, now that I'm a booktuber, I, I will do it. And I also have this a book by Victor Hugo, or however you say it in French, Les Miserables. It's in French. I do want to read it in French. Uh, good luck to me. Good luck to me. It's in my list, okay? It's, it's definitely in my list. And then here we have some classics by Charles Dickens. You see, the, here's, the, here's the problem. I grew up in Brazil. I, I, I read Portuguese books. All these things that you English people take for granted that you read at school and stuff, I didn't read them. Okay? I need to read them. So here I have some Charles Dickens that I want to read. Great Expectations and Hard Times and Oliver Twist, obviously. It's, it's really important. They are here in my list uh, that I will read this year. Not easy to read. Good luck to me. And then I have this series called The Spiritual Man by Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee is a Chinese uh, Christian missionary writer that lived... Lived? Yeah, he died in 1972, so he lived in China and he, he's, he wrote many good books. This is one of them, the series. I started reading this book. Jeez, this is embarrassing. In Brazil. That was more than 11 years ago. It's like I read the first few chapters and then I stop and then I want to start again and I start reading from the beginning again. I also have an Audible and I've been listening to it on Audible, so that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to listen to it on Audible and it's gonna be great. It has a very good perspective on body, soul and spirit and how they interact with each other and how it affects our lives. It's, it's quite interesting. I really wanna read it this year, 2018. And then we have some C.S. Lewis over here that I don't think I read any of these or maybe I started and haven't finished. If I don't remember, I should probably read it again. The Great Divorce, Screw Tape Letters, Miracle, Surprised by Joy. I do remember reading some Surprised by Joy, but I don't think I finished. And The Problem of Pain, I really wanna read them. And maybe I'll reread Mere Christianity and The Four Loves, one of my favorite books that he's ever, both of them. So great. I, I, I just, I really need to read this. And then here are some books that I have to reread, especially now that I have children. This is called Teaching Your Children the Truth About Sex. It's a very good book written by 
uh, PhD, a doctor, and talks about all different. It's really good book. If you're a parent, you you should do this. Okay, you should do this. Read read them. And I also want to reread the Normal Christian Life by watching many. The same guy who wrote the three volumes of the Spiritual Man. This is one of the best Christian books you ever read. If you haven't read it yet and you're a Christian, read it. I mean, if you read the Bible, read the Bible first. But then this is just so incredible. It's such an incredible book. I love it. I love it so much. And then I have some books on Audible that I also want to finish listening to. There is Land of Men by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, the same guy who wrote uh, The Little Prince, one of my favorite books of all times. I really want to listen to that. It's actually, there's not much left. I started already. Last year I started. I also have the version in French. Just because. I don't know why I did this. I don't fully understand it. I need to learn French as well. Oh no, I just start remembering of all the things I want to do. Uh, maybe this year that I will actually learn French. Listen, I, I'm kind of a booktuber now, so maybe that will kind of help me learn French, right? All the booktubers out there, is that a thing that happens? Do you learn other languages when you're a booktuber? Please say yes. Another one I have here is the seven habits of highly effective people that I started already and there's only 12 hours left. <laughs> Oh, just looking at this makes me sad. And then I also have here The City of God by St. Augustine. It's 47 hours long. I don't think I, I let's uh, leave that on the back back burner, forget about that one for, for a while. In addition to that, I also have a list on Goodreads. By the way, I'm on Goodreads now. I'm a booktuber. I have to be on Goodreads. Please go and add me. I have no idea. How do you find people on Goodreads? The link will be in the description. Add me and look at my lists and such. I'm gonna start writing my reviews there as well, in addition to the book reviews videos that I'm gonna make. As I've previously mentioned, I already read two books this year, so I'm gonna be doing book reviews for them. It's coming, but I digress. My list to read here is The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. I have no idea why I put that one here. There must be a reason. I don't even know what the book is about. Oh, I know why, because Andrew Claven said that, that he likes this writer. Yeah, that's why. And then I have Human Action, a treat, a, an economics book by von Mises. It's from the Aust Austrian School of Economics. It's really good. And I've also added Everybody Lies, Big Data, New Data, and What the Internet Can Tell Us About Who We Really Are by Seth uh, Stevens David Davidowitz, The Art of War by Sun Tzu, and The Prince by Machiavelli. <laughs> <laughs> it just has this great, great list, hey? Uh, the Great Gatsby by Fitzgerald, of course. And The Old Man and the Sea by Hemingway. Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, another one that I don't have, but I really want to read. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Need to, you see, I was what I'm saying. There's all these classic books that everyone read that I haven't read. I really need to read this, okay? And for My Wife's Joy, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen because it's a classic and the good thing is I already have, she already has probably like three versions of the book so I should have brought it here. Yeah. Anyway, this is my to be read TBR BTR list of books 2018. If you have any suggestions, please leave in the comments. Also go to my Goodreads page and I do the things that people do on Goodreads. Grace, please, G Sweezer Books, please help me out over here, book lovers and yeah, I'm gonna continue to have my little tea party with little baby over here. How are you going? Ah, uh, it's okay. What does sex mean? Oh no. 